Long ago, there lived a man, blessed by the gods and revered by the people as their savior. His name was Arden Lucis Kylum, and he was to have served as the first king of Lucis. has been identified as 28-year-old Mars Sapientia. Although Officer Sapientia allegedly reported for duty at his appointed time, fellow officers say he disappeared soon after and has not been sighted since. Officer Sapientia is a tall, fair-skinned male and was last seen wearing his Border Patrol fatigues. Anyone with information on Officer Sapientia's whereabouts are requested to contact the Crown City Police immediately. And now a word from the Public Information Bureau. Today marks the anniversary of the founding of the Kingdom of Lucis. The Founders Day Committee has prepared a number of attractions in honor of this auspicious occasion, including a parade around the Citadel as well as a statue of the Founder King himself. All are welcome and encouraged to participate in today's festivities. This has been a message from the Public Information Bureau. What about you? Now, on to the weather. Shouldn't you be looking for your buddy? Today in the Crown City, we expect mild oh, and sunny no. weather with nothing but blue skies. I'm on special the assignment. The may experience some inclement weather, starting in the evening and continuing throughout the night. <sighs> that concludes today's news and weather. <sighs> Sweet home at last. Welcome to the Founders Day Festival. In a moment, the parade will begin making its way through the city. King Regis is scheduled to participate in the festivities. Circling the Citadel alongside the statue of the Founder King, Somnus Lucis Chiron. So this is the city Somnus built. Built on the back of his own flesh and blood. Just look at them, free of care and unaware of the war beyond their wall. In order to ensure the safety of all festival goers, we ask that you please follow all staff instructions. Vehicular access will also be limited in some areas around the Citadel for the festival's duration. In addition, traffic will be stopped entirely during the parade. We thank you for your cooperation. What need is there to worry when brick and mortar blinds them to the suffering outside? Why venture out into the world when you feel so safe within? <sighs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We should. Okay. No, no, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, okay. let the fireworks begin. Okay. Yes. Yes. Cursed be the way that he dreams of the gods.
Arden. Oh, Arden. You can't expect me to believe that. <laughs> oh, but I do. You have my word. <laughs> well, in that case... <laughs> You look exhausted, my love. Are you all right? <laughs> I am. Hmm. Ah. The gods bless me with a power and a purpose to cure people of what ails them. I must see their will be done. Your devotion shall not go unnoticed. The gods will doubtless be watching over you. Just as I shall be watching over you every step of the way. <laughs> it seems to me the cure for your exhaustion is comprised of two things, one of which is rest. Oh? And the other? <laughs> is me. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> alive. <laughs> Just as the ancient texts told. Uh, who? Take him away. Roger that. We'll transport the subject to your location. And we'll have the medical team ready as planned. What's the situation over there? Nothing to report. We're just...
Era. Somnus. Forgive me, brother. But the throne seats only one. Hera! Uh, gods, no! Nizunia, Chief Bisithia would like to see you. <sighs> Come, have a seat. Food getting cold, do you? Are you enjoying your stay? No. You've been asleep for years. Learning to appreciate the waking world will take time. Perhaps I can help enlighten you while we dine. Was your examination of me a fruitful one? Oh yes, you've proven far more fascinating than expected. <laughs> no wonder they kept you locked away. To think the powers of a demon could dwell within the heart of a man, it's incredible. The Star Scourge doesn't sap your life force, it gives you more. Your cells can regenerate themselves, and you can demonify other life forms as well. There's no doubt you a are monster. not a monster, a marvel. <laughs> I can't wait to unravel all your mysteries. How long has it been since you brought me here? 204 days. Roughly seven months or so. Then again, the Lucians had you locked away in that prison for nearly two millennia. I'd be more surprised if you hadn't lost all concept of time. You must loathe those Lucians for what they did to you. Uh. What is this food? Meat. Cloned in this facility. D cloned? We cultivated somatic cells, used them as donors to fuse the nucleus transplant cells to the recipient oocytes, and then we- Enough! I've no ear for the ramblings of a lunatic. What is it you want from me, anyhow? What about me interests you so? You said it yourself, didn't you? You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You too must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. <sighs> My desires are all in the past. The man who wronged you may have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. 
Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. My feelings are none of your concern. Is that... Ifrit the Infernian. <gasps> you subjugated a god and brought him here? He was sound asleep, just like the legend said he'd be, so we put him on ice. Do you think you could turn him into a demon? If you managed to demonify a deity, you could learn truths no mere mortal could ever dream of knowing. You'll access 2,000 years of his memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. It's certainly an enticing offer, isn't it? Just think you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but I know you have no other options. Well, shall we? Come see the fruits of my Magitech research. This way. The ancient civilization of Solheim, forefathers of our magic technology, once flourished on this land. Had they not incurred the wrath of the gods, they may have remained prosperous to this day. And you wish to restore them to greatness? To surpass them, which is why I need you to lend me your strength. But I'm certain magic technology and demons are the keys to unlocking the door to a new future. Lucians? But how? Kunmi Squad, Adagium sighted. Initiating Requesting engagement. backup from Nimbus Squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. Ah, so, you've come to kill me, have you? Or die trying. Just as you have killed me, fellow writers, I have no satisfaction in bringing my hands on the who is it? <laughs> Such power. Blast. his cursed kingdom and burn them all to the ground <gasps> no to be king? I defy. 
defied the will of the gods and revealed to Somnus you had been chosen to be king. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I never dreamt he would try to kill you. But he did. <laughs> Somnus fooled everyone so he could usurp the throne. Everything that happened, it's all his fault. No. Listen to me. It's my fault. I'm the one who ruined your future. This was divine retribution for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. Gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Error! Oh, 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 oh no! Error! Calling Arden and punish me for my sin. Era. Kill me. That's right. Kill her. Put that monster out of its misery, just like I did. Just like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon. Please, Arden. You must live. I can't. Not without you. <laughs> Come. Why not give the lady what she wants? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you've failed to save her. No surprise. A monster can do not but destroy. <laughs> destroy everything you built. <laughs> Hear me, gods above. No longer shall I supplicate you for pardon. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay, the path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. This path is mine to tread alone. <laughs> The Empire's demonic experiments bore fruit before long, precipitating the production of a Magitek infantry. As recognition for his contribution to this research, Arden Azunia was inaugurated as Imperial Chancellor. Thanks to its newfound firepower, Niflheim managed to break the stalemate that shackled the nation for more than a hundred years, and, in turn, forced Lucis to scale back its magical barrier. The untimely passing of King Mors ushered in the era of a new monarch, and the young Regis Lucis Kylum succeeded the throne. Meanwhile, 
Arden began to spread the Star Scourge throughout the world, stealing people's memories and learning as much about the Kingdom as he could. In time, those memories began to merge with his own, gradually transforming him into a wicked echo of his former self. And now, at long last, the time for his revenge has come. An enormous unidentified life form has appeared near the Citadel. The creature has begun stealing flames, turning the area surrounding the Citadel to a sea of fire. All citizens must be back in the one, two, three. Is this thing on? Greetings, people of the Kingdom of Lucis. Do forgive me for interrupting the festivities. But I must tell you, this day of rapturous reverie shall be your last. Call it Divine Retribution. False kings and fraudulent nations are fated to perish. Sins of the past must not go unpunished. The time of reckoning is at hand. And today you shall atone on behalf of your forebears. Who is he? We've yet to ID him. if you wish, but know that your fight against fate is a foolish and futile one. Whoever he is, it's clear he wishes us harm. You stay here. I... I'm going to put a stop to this madman. Well, Let's do time this. to set to work. Attention all units, this is your captain speaking. Code Red, I repeat, Code Red. Follow your commander's orders and get the situation under control. Almost done. How does it look? Quite promising. We should be able to break through the barrier with a well-timed assault. You ought to evacuate lest you get caught in the crossfire. Yes, but there's something I must attend to first. I've got a king to kill. What? That wasn't part of the plan. I finished my work. Now it's time to play. But we... No, Barnes. You just stick to your plan and keep the boys in black busy for me. Now, off to see his majesty who lives in the house that Somnus built. What's the situation? Unfavorable. The target has been destroying all the wall amplifiers. Who is he? We can't identify him. But he's a skilled combatant, and he seems to have the Infernium under his control. I fear we must prepare for the worst, your majesty. Oh my, what big walls you have! All the better to look down upon his enslaved subjects from. Time to call in a favor with the king and have him summon my beloved brother. Something wrong, officer. Ah, oh, you must be His Majesty. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Why are you here? Why, for you. The Royal Arms? Who are you? You ought to know, being a man of royal blood yourself. <sighs> Adagium. In the flesh. Here to bring the bloodline of Lucis to an end. <laughs> Behold! Hear me, Adagium. On my honor as king, I will vanquish you. Oh, dear. <laughs> what an awful thing to say to your own flesh and blood. Sloppy! Over here! Keep <laughs> on! I swore. Done already, but the fun's just begun. 
summon the old wall. Oh. How do you know about that? <coughs> I've heard the souls of kings reside within those statues. <laughs> of course, that's only hearsay. Why not summon the wall so we can see for ourselves? Ah, what I wouldn't give for a chance to speak with the Founder King himself! Come out, Somnus! The longer you wait, the longer he'll <coughs> suffer! <coughs> <coughs> Huh? Is he dead? Oh dear. Perhaps I don't know my own strength. Huh. Ah. Brother. Somnus. Behold! Haven't seen you for years. Two thousand, in fact. And whose fault do you think that is? Who could have exiled me as a monster and erased me from the face of history? You were tainted. Unfit to sit the floor. Oh. Match? Please, Over brother. Here. Return to the darkness once you came. Now? But I'm having so much fun! To think I did the pleasure of killing you myself! What's wrong, dear brother? Too afraid to put down your expensive toy and come face me yourself? Let the game begin. This is no beginning. Only the end. This is preposterous. How could one so impure possess such power? Your head over here. Oh, Infernian, lend me your strength to help you burn this wretched nation to the ground. What I did to you was unforgivable, but I did it for the future of our kingdom, of our people. A small sacrifice for the good of society. <clears throat> How noble. Our line has done everything in our power to protect our people, just as the gods bade. I was merely fulfilling my calling. <laughs> and here I thought I was the blessed one, but it was you all along. I dare not ask your forgiveness. I do. Ask your understanding. What? You took everything from me. Everything! And you ask my understanding?! I pray your soul find repose, brother. I 
Why do the gods deny me my revenge? Because thou hast been chosen to serve a different purpose. <sighs> to spread darkness throughout the world is thy true calling. Darkness? Soon, the true king will be born unto Lucis. He shall lead the people as their beacon of hope and drive away the darkness. In turn, thou shalt be the sacrifice, the limitless shadow that ushers in the light. Why must I continue to suffer? Have I not already sacrificed enough? The true king awakens, summoning the power of his forebears. He shall, at last, relieve thee of thy suffering. Then, the line of Lucis shall come to an end, and the revenge thou seekest shall finally be found. So it is ordained, and so shall it be. You say, I am not the savior of man, but his sacrificial lamb, and that I live only to die by the hand of the heir to an ill-gotten throne. That is the fate the gods have chosen to bestow upon me! The very same. Defy thy destiny if thou dare, but know that it will grant thee a life of darkness unending, devoid of death's reprieve. What saved thee, a dark Though I am to serve the shadows and surrender to the scion of a usurper. So long as it brings the royal bloodline to an end. So long as I get my revenge. I will submit. As thou shouldst, the fate bestowed upon a man cannot be changed. Now go, fulfill thy calling. Did you two know about this? That I was meant to serve as some sacrifice? Did you keep this from me, Era? What about you, dear brother? Did you know? Answer me! Am I alive? Oh, does it matter? <sighs> Perhaps not. <sighs> Nothing matters. None of it. Not. The blessed gods above, nor the accursed kings below. To hell with them all.
All that matters is I have my revenge. I will spread this scourge across the earth, lure out this king of light, and kill him. Then, the entire world of Eos will be drenched in the darkness of despair for time eternal. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. <laughs>